Good morning, uh, good afternoon actually, it's, it's, it's 3.30 in the afternoon to be exact. Um, it's been, a, it's been a, like, oddly slow Sunday, and so today's literally just my editing day, I'm editing the Bad Posture video, probably gonna edit the podcast if I get time, and that's, that's pretty much today, so I, I'm doing like a Q&A edit day, just so you know, if that's not your jazz, click out, unlike, dis dislike, unsubscribe. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna time lapse me doing some editing and then I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys are asking. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit more time. <clears throat> and then I'm done. I've got some web shit to work on too, but yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm jazzing, had a few meetings. That's pretty much it. Reference, verse two, that's how my life be. How you been? Reached out, bit of like a long while. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. I just did a very quick little edit on the bad posture video. Um, I've still got to do like a final and all of that fun stuff set up vlog set up I still got to do a final and all that fun stuff, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far um, Very nice color wise. I do like the colors and the shit. I, I got a few more tweaks to do, but I'm pretty much done I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about uh, two things. I'm gonna talk about why this vlog why business and then I'm gonna answer some questions so a whole reason I'm making this vlog um, my friend Frank has been doing, as you know, these daily for like forever, and I have always been inspired to do it, but I haven't really found the energy to do it, and now I have it, so why not use it? It's also just a consistent backlog of content that I'm making. I'm getting to show off some of my filmmaking skills while also taking you on the adventure that is my filmmaking journey, that is my um, business journey, and that serves really nicely as like this observational documentary type project which I really like the idea of. I really like the idea that in 10, 20, 30 years if I've finally done something with my career and I'm, I'm doing well there's this really big backlog of like content that shows how I got there. Second thing is is why business? The business, uh, is, I'm going to talk about it because in two weeks we're running our first like profesh workshops back um, out at Backbone Arts. I started the workshops as a youth week project. Uh, the idea was to raise young, tr to train young filmmakers who didn't have potentially the right skill set to create the projects that they needed, um, and kind of let them out into the world in, in Queensland and see what they create. And it's been great because there's quite a few of them that I'm still in contact with, and they're doing some cool things. Um, Second reason was youth interagency. I'm really big on like training and developing youth, um, especially here in Queensland. Like, like there seems to be a lack of like film training, media training here. Um, and if that's the one thing I can provide, I'll do it. I'm gonna answer some questions. Let's go. Uh, chill little, chill little Q and A. Let's go into the, into the thingy madubi. Let's see what questions I've got. Who's your favorite content creator? Um, I'm gonna have to say a little guy named Frank Mankin, a uh, pretty cool dude. Uh, besides that, Hey X Natalie is pretty also cool. Uh, super underrated YouTuber, go check her out. Um, what's it like knowing you scare old white people? <laughs> I like scaring them. Um, they, they don't own the world and they shouldn't be in charge of anything and if I can scare them a little bit with my with my tactics and my confidence, great, because they should be scared. Uh, who's your favorite director? It's a hard one. I'm gonna say Vince Gilligan, because uh, I, I used to answer Steven Spielberg quite a lot, but I don't know, Spielberg's been a bit funny lately. Vince Gilligan's pretty cool, he's a very talented, underrated director and writer. Which film has had the biggest impact on you? I am going to say uh, Into the Wild. Why? Into the Wild is like a really like cool, not only true story, but just example of how you can A, throw everything away and go on a beautiful journey and it can be great, but also B, you can have such an easy little lapse of judgment that you can have a massive effect on your life. I wish the people next door would shut the fuck up. Um, but th those are the two main reasons why I enjoy that film. Second of all, whenever I watch it, I feel like I'm going on the journey with this guy. The way that it's edited, the way that it's created is very much um, unique. It's, it's not usual, and I like to edit uh, things a very certain way. But like sometimes it's so easy to fall into the trap of like traditional film editing where this didn't feel like a traditional film at all. The continuity editing in that is amazing. Um, like I felt like it was a continuous journey also. 
But yeah, that's that's it. I'm gonna edit a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat some food. I'm gonna get some get some sleep. It's been good. I don't know how long today's vlog is. Uh, it might be five. It might be six. It might be two minutes and forty eight seconds again. Um, sometimes my days get busy, but I'm still gonna try and make one of these every single day. So if you see like QA things, feel free to ask me a question. Um, and my favorite part about filmmaking was the other question. My favorite part about filmmaking is experiencing the stories that I get to create through it. I think that consistently I'm, I'm getting to live little experiences and make them into films, um, whether that means that I'm taking inspiration from things that have happened and writing them in there, whether it means that I'm filming things certain ways because I think that that's how it would look to me, um, whether it's making these vlogs and, and telling that experience. I think my favorite thing about filmmaking is the final product, the story that comes out of it and the way that it makes people feel. That's pretty much for me. I love you all. Like and subscribe. This looks so dope.